Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you're new here, then make sure to subscribe and also follow me on my Instagram. Today's video is such a special video because I've been wanting to film this video for such a long time and here we are, today I'm gonna do it and today is a whole range and a whole fragrance guide of the Magella fragrances. So grab yourself a tea or a nice cup of coffee because this video I think it's gonna be a little bit a long one and I have so many things I wanna share with you guys. I do have my notebook in here and here I have all my notes from the Maison Magella fragrances. Um, I'm gonna look down basically and uh, read some notes from here because there's so much to say I can't basically like remember everything in my head uh, but I can show you guys this is my whole folder oops um, I keep literally all my Maison Magella training notes in here and um, these are all grey because literally it has every single fragrance in here and explains what's inside and what kind of the smell is and uh, this is really great and there's so much to talk about of the Maison Magella fragrances. Now Maison Magella is a French fashion house and it was founded in 1988 in Paris and it was founded by him which is Martin Magella and he's a Belgian fashion designer. So Martin Magella, he is a very anonymous person, like he wasn't at all in the public, he has no social media, literally nobody saw his face and nobody knows how he looks like, this is really strange. And he's been designing for such a long time and he has created his own, his own brand basically and then he just left his brand in 2009. So he literally left the company, his own brand in 2009 and then in 2014 John Galliano became the new creative director for Maison Magella. John Galliano, one of the most creative designers out there and he has become the creative director to date for Maison Magella and we all know that John Galliano is this unique, very, I don't know, very like cool very like unique and uh, over the top designs and the whole idea of John Galliano matches perfectly with the brand because of Maison Magella is all about reconstruction and deconstruction so making it very like creative and different than completely the other designers out there. There are three brand codes from the Maison Magella. Number one would be white. Now white is the color of the brand, it represents the brand and when you know something is white from the brand that you know this is the authenticity of this brand. And the color white represents this purity and this unity of the brand. Second code is the logo, so there is no branding on every Magella product. The main focus of the Magella is just the product and not the designer, which is Great. Number three is the label. Each number of the Maison Banjala represents a specific collection. So for the fragrances, I believe would be the number three. Now let's talk about the fragrances and the first fragrance that launched for Maison Banjala. I'm gonna say Maison Banjala quite a lot in this video, so sorry about that. So the first fragrance that launched is in 2010 and it is called Untitled. Now Untitled has no um, specific name for the uh, perfume. Untitled is just the name and the reason why Untitled is called because it's just speak for itself. So the perfume speaks for itself when you smell it. Now the bottle is very interesting because the bottle is like dipped in a white paint and it has like a string around the cap so it literally um, shows represents the brand logo and the brand aesthetics and this is like a new trend in the perfumery which is amazing and Untitled is a, is a perfume fragrance and it's a unique unisex scent and it's a green floral. Now the notes of the fragrance are galbanum, resin and essence. The galbanum is very powerful, fresh, uh, earthy, natural, awakening and distinctive. And another brand, um, note would be orange blossom. So orange blossom is very greenery, very floral and natural. And the last note inside is, and it stands out is the incense. So the incense is very smoky, warm and very like woody and comforting to smell. When I first smelled Untitled, it was very fresh, very distinctive, very unique and it definitely changes on the skin. So this is the one thing I would advise, you have to smell Untitled. It's very earthy, very different, um, it's just very green, it's very long lasting. It is an Aida Parfum so it's very long lasting, it's very crisp and just niche. You wouldn't literally smell something like this so definitely try out the Untitled because I'm sure you will love it as well. 
In 2011, Untitled Le came out. Now, the Le stands for fresh and more for sophisticated fragrance. Now, this fragrance is the Eau de Toilette, and uh, this fragrance is like a fresh citrus interpretation of the first classic fragrance, Untitled Le. Came out, and it's just very unique, very like this. Again, this Galvamon incense is in there, and um, Le is enhanced with lemon, mandarin, mint, and the top notes, which creates a refreshing, sharp, crisp, and opening scent. Now, I really like the low one as well. It's very different, it's similar to the Untitled, but if you think the Untitled is more earthy, more greenery, then definitely check out the low because the low is more crispy, more lemony basically, and um, it's just very energizing, very citrusy, and very revitalizing and refreshing when you smell it. And it is also quite long lasting because of the Galbamom inside. And the Galbamom is a very special note in the Untitled fragrances. So the Untitled and the Untitled Lure were the first fragrances that came out, and they made literally such a statement across the world. And um, none of the other perfumery houses have created such a fragrance like this. Now let's talk about the more interesting part of this video and it is the replica fragrances. Now the replica fragrances are so amazing and let's talk about replica. Now replica stands for replication and it came out in 1994 by Martin Majala himself. He created this kind of this imagery and this kind of things on his clothes and in accessories that um, basically the reconstruction and deconstruction is a thing and you can literally create a new jacket out of from this jacket or you create something new from this garment something like that basically and this also goes with the fragrances now the fragrances came out in 2012 the replica fragrances all have five to ten percent essential oils and the way they are created is by the people who work for the brand and these are the special moments and various uh, scenery that the staff members basically from the brand have and they've created it into fragrances. So basically it's created by the Maison Banjala community and reflects their own personal memories and it evokes images and imaginations. So let's talk about the Eau Toilette fragrances first and also I want to show you guys the replica label. Now the replica label is very different because it says the originally where the fragrance originates from and the memory the scents evokes and then we have where the fragrance stands but you so which is the Provence the local uh, location and period and time and then we have the fragrance description which is as explanatory and then we have the style description which is the gender now with the gender it says male and female but most of the fragrances are unisex and in the new fragrances they have either unisex written or they have female and male fragrance written let's quickly mention the bottles now the bottles are very discreet luxury and it has all this apothecary bottle inspired vibe each bottle is sealed with this white thread across the top and it has no cup so this is a traditional historical thing of the brand and it has like a 100% cotton label patch um, attached to it so which is like the um, only branding that they do and it is completely removable so if you want to remove the label you can just remove it and it's very anonymous how the brand it is and um, this is just a, such a genius idea and I really really like it hence why this is the huge unique selling point of the fragrances and now let's start off with the Eau de Toilette fragrance range with no particular order I'm gonna go first with the Whispers in the Library now Whispers in the Library was a Harrods worldwide exclusive um, it's such an amazing fragrance now it has pepper this black pepper, vanilla, orange blossom, patchouli, precious wood, and cedar. So the main note I can smell from the whispers in the library is the um, orange blossom, I would say. So you should imagine yourself in this old library and you can smell like the woods, you can smell the books, and it's very like this um, kind of this traditional vintage scent which they have created really nicely into the Whispers in the Library fragrance. It leaves a nice undertone of the uh, vanilla and the black pepper later on. So such a huge contrast, the um, cool and the contrast scent, which are amazing. And uh, you can definitely smell the vanilla and black pepper later on. It is very long lasting as well. The next fragrance I have in my list is Under the Lemon Tree. Now, Under the Lemon Tree was the Selfridges 
worldwide exclusive and as you can imagine it smells very citrusy and lemony now the notes of this would be the top note with garlic essence middle notes are coriander essence green tree extract and the base note is cedarwood essence citrus absolute and musk so you should imagine yourself you're walking in a nice huge field with loads of lemon trees around you this zesty refreshing scent this spring summery lemons that you like to eat uh, or drink as a lemon juice this is how the fragrance smells and i would definitely suggest you guys to check this out this time around in the june and july season because you will fall in love with this fragrance it's so refreshing so lemony and it'll definitely make you crave some lemon juice or you want some have some lemonness lemons afterwards or lemonade afterwards um definitely one of my favorites and definitely stands out from the collection the latest fragrance that came out from the replica in the toilet range is bubble bars now bubble bars is such a unique concept so fun and creative the top note starts with bergamot pink pepper middle notes are jasmine rose lavender and the base notes are white musk patchouli and coconut so it has more this coconut tea this more like this sweet scent very comforting so if you like this warm sweet comforting scents then this is the one for you and um the white musk and the jasmine are such a good combination together you will you will smell this floral undertone as well of the bubble bath and what i really like bubble bath is also the light blue turquoise uh, bottle basically every repertoire uh, fragrance has its own unique scent and its own unique color as well so definitely bubble bath is one of my favorite colors from this whole range as well the next fragrance i have is coffee break coffee break is Oh my god so guys if you love coffee like me um you will definitely fall in love with this fragrance as well the top notes has pink pepper essence orange flower petals patchouli middle notes are tonka bean absolute which is my favorite and benzoin base notes are vanilla absolute cedarwood and vetiver oh my god when i saw the nose i definitely fell in love without even smelling the fragrance now this fragrance is not a typical kind of heavy coffee scent it's more like this creamy latte like this very like this how would i say this kind of this waft of scent of this coffee scent if you are a coffee lover like me i'm sure you will love this fragrance as i do and you guys don't be put off by the word coffee now obviously some people don't like to smell like coffee but this one is like a nice coffee this one is like a sweet and very like floral kind of this cute and very like this masculine coffee so definitely check this one out and this is so unique now which other fragrance houses have created something like this and definitely Majala stands out from all of them springtime in a park springtime in a park is again a more new year launch that came out last year i saw and the top notes are pear accord bergamot essence black currant accord middle notes are lily of the valley accord jasmine rose damancina rose damancina such a unique rose one of my favorite roses in all products and the base notes are musks vanilla accord springtime in the park is more this um very fresh very clean if you like pear now i can smell your pear um this very this zesty pear smell you will love this fragrance and another thing that it has again the rose and the jasmine the rose and jasmine makes it more this floral note so if you like this kind of this fruity floral notes more like fresh for the springtime then the springtime in the park might be the one for you so these were the five replica either toilet fragrances that came out more recently are more new to the whole range and now let's start off with the shebang and let's start off with the best sellers and uh, these best sellers are literally in everyone's perfume collection and they're so popular and they're the most talked about fragrances in the fragrance industry and the one that i'm gonna start first is lazy sunday morning now lazy sunday morning should remind you in Florence 2003 and it's just more this Italian Sunday morning you roll over the bed and you feel the delicate summer softness of the cotton sheets and the silky on your silky smooth skin basically 
can't even read what it says. So you breathe in the reassuring scent of this fresh lone tree and you feel completely relaxed at peace. And it literally transforms you to only a lazy Sunday morning with spring basically. And uh, this is more like a white floral aided toilet and the notes are lily of the valley which is very delicate floral and clean and uh, rose absolute. Rose Absolute is very full, fresh, and it's very complimenting this uh, spicy sweetness, which is amazing. And one of my favorite notes is White Musk. White Musk is known for the sensual, for this creaminess, and for this comforting and softness on the scent. Now, this scent, I would say, is very clean, very delicate, very soft. If you really, really like this fresh laundry kind of scents, um, this really freshly washed sheets basically and lazy Sunday morning is the one if you had a nice shower fresh shower basically and you don't want to wear something that is very like in your face but you really want to wear perfume then lazy Sunday morning is the one for you because it really complements the final scent the next fragrance on my list is Beach Walk. Now the Beach Walk should remind you of the memory of the warm summers in Croatia in 1972. And you are on a white sandy beach in the height of summer. Your feet sinks into the wet and sand and waves brushes against your skin. The sun sinks gently through the crystal sky, the warm balance by the cares of soft breeze. Now the Beach Walk Again, one of the best sellers from the Magella fragrances and it's more like a fruity floral in a toilet and a special note that it has is, is Ylang Ylang. Ylang Ylang is rich, sweet with just jasmine nuances. Um, such an amazing flower. And the next note is coconut milk known for a smooth, creamy and this milky note. So very nice, very comforting. And the last note is the musk, which is very sensual, comforting and soft. So the musk and the coconut oil really reminds you of the summery, kind of this um, beachy vibe. And the beach walk is definitely one to look for. It's very creamy, very radiant. And it definitely reminds me of summertime whenever I smell this fragrance. It's very enveloping, basically. And the uh, beach walk also has a body range as well, if you're interested. It comes in a body oil body shower gel and a body lotion as well. The next fragrance I have is Flower Market. Flower Market is a nice fragrance that you're blasting in the flower market in Paris 2011. So the wet petals gather beneath your feet as buckets and vases brimming with water splash across the delicate petals and snap steams. So uh, it's a multiple of floral compositions filled in the air. So Flower Market is a floral fragrance in Eau de Toilette and the notes are freesia, which is where this refreshing green and the floral scent, a tuberose, opulent, intense floral, and the last note is this grass rose, it's very luxurious, fresh and exquisite. So, floral market speaks for itself. If you really love this floral scent, it's kind of this freshly washed, fresh cut flor fl um, florals, flowers, then a flower market is the one for you. I think this scent is more like a female fragrance because I think it's more delicate, more floral and more fresh. However, if you like it as well, this could be a unisex fragrance as well. To be honest, everybody can wear these fragrances. It doesn't have to be very girly or very feminine or very like masculine. Um, flower market, an amazing gift for everyone who likes this floral scent. And um, yeah, if you like tuberose and the rose, then flower market is definitely the one to look out for. One of my favorite fragrances is Sailing Day. Now Sailing Day is this open waters in Paris in 2001. It transforms yourself to a Greek holiday by the sea. Um, the crushing of the ocean waves, the freshness of the sea spray on your face and the warmth of the sun on your back. A moment to reflect in the wide expanse of the open seas. This one is more like an aquatic fougere fragrance and either toilet and it has the notes of this aquatic accord, which is this lush, fresh and energizing scent. And the next note is coriander, which makes it more a contrast. So it has the spicy, this uh, woody and this fresh note as well. And red seaweed. So the red seaweed is aquatic, refreshing and sensual. Now these notes, you can imagine that you are in the nice a summer holiday in a boat and you can smell the water literally splashing on your face but um, 
it's very aquatic, very refreshing, very watery, and it's very fresh, uplifting, and refreshing fragrance. Amazing for the summertime, amazing unisex fragrance, amazing if you're going holidays. This one is the one in the blue bottle. Now let's talk about At The Barbers. Now At The Barbers is a memory of a classic masculine barber shop in Madrid in 1992. So it should transform itself to authentic traditional barber shop. Um, shaving brushes slice through the soap set of the dry friction of the razor and um, the soft uh, rustling of the warm white towel fills your ears to this vintage masculine ritual that you have. And this one is the Fougere in the toilet. The nose of this fragrance is black pepper, which is this spicy, fiery, and fresh note. Lavender, known for this aromatic clean and this masculine scent. And we have Tonka bean, which is this rich, sweet, and this warm, comforting scent. This fragrance is mostly popular by the gents out there. It's very this fresh and spicy scent. Now sometimes this fragrance reminds me of a hairspray, this kind of this clean hairspray. However, this friend is a very clean, very masculine, very fresh and it's very energizing, classic and it's very traditional fragrance. If you like this, this vintage barbershop kind of smells, kind of this salons, this barbershops, this kind of this vintage smells, then the replica fragrance at the barbers literally smells the same and it's so amazing how they have created this kind of scent and um, literally blows my mind but um, it's very different very unique so if you like this kind of this fresh clean scent also a top tip if you freshly shave your beard try at the barbers you will love your beard this is how makes this fragrance really represented basically the next one on my list is the Promenade and the Gardens. Now this is a country walk in Oxfordshire in 1996 and it's the memory walk of the British, British countryside along with the long-reaching avenues of this greenery filled with the cooling shadows of evergreens. So basically um, it has this colourful, ornamental, delicate flowers rediscovering the beauty of the English garden. This one is the Green Floral. So again, an Eda Toilette and it has freesia as the note, which is known for this fresh, floral and green scent. It has patchouli oil. Patchouli oil is known for this essential, long-lasting and this earthy nose. And vetiver, oh my god, vetiver, one of my favorite notes, is this aromatic, enveloping and woody note. So the prominence in the garden is a very unique scent. It's if you like this green floral nose, this is the one. If you want something between a mix of a floral scent and a green scent combined together, then Pomerant in the Gardens is the one because it's not too floral, not too green, it's just the right in between. As the scent perfectly described, it's like a British walkthrough in the countryside. You can smell the flowers, you can smell the greenery. It's very refreshing, awakening, earthy. What I love about the fragrance is also very natural, very um, aromatic at the same time as well and amazing unisex fragrance, perfect for the guys if they want to wear something floral and greenery then the promenade in the gardens is a nice one to look out for. This one is a very controversial fragrance. Now, this one is called the Music Festival. Music Festival is a memory in Woodstock on a summer's day in 1969. An aromatic scent that takes you back to the Woodstock in the 1960s. By the crowd united, you are richer this, doing this rock and roll kind of sounds. You feel the energy of the music and the warmth of the sun. This one is a green sheep ray in the toilet fragrance. The notes of this is marijuana. Mariana is the weed accord and the fragrance is just an accord, not the real one, an accord. Accord is just a essential oil basically. It's very aromatic, unique and green as most of some of you know. Um, the next note is patchouli essence for the sensual, natural and distinctive scent and another one which is very cool is the tobacco. Tobacco is this addictive captivating and warm note. Now, music festival is not everybody's cup of tea basically. It's uh, very different. You can smell the tobacco and the green note, which is the weed. The weed accord, I think, is a little bit strong on the scent. Um, 
from the whole range of the replica this is the one which is my least favorite out of them however there are such cool following for this music festival and there are so many people i know they love this fragrance it's very green very earthy very natural so um if you like this very heavy green natural scent then the music festival is the one and um, the tobacco makes it very like distinctive very rich and gives it nice an undertone and makes it more longer lasting together with the weed mariana scent this one is one of the most best sellers of the best sellers and it's the best of the best and one of my favorite fragrances and it is by the fireplace now the by the fireplace is a memory in chamonix in 1971 after the day in skiing in the fresh alps warmer with the cozy fireplace outside it is snowing in a frosty white landscape and the sound of the skis cutting through the icy snow you're inside this warm very comfortable crackling glowing warm that you can see from the fire and it has a contrast of the cold from the outside and from the hot from the inside it is a woody the toilet fragrance the top note is the clove oil which is known for the warm, spicy and sweet scent and it has chestnut accord. Chestnut is so great, so sweet, so rich and intense. So one of my favorite notes of all time and Gaia wood as well. The Gaia wood and the chestnut, oh my god, gives us all a powerful, smoky and woody scent. Definitely a scent that is amazing i really like this so long lasting it has one of the most essential oils i think it has 15 percent essential oil if i'm not wrong it has the most intense essential oil of the whole replica fragrances it's very warm very comforting very rich long lasting smoky woody and intense one of the most intense replica fragrances so if you like the intense fragrance then the, by the fireplace i would highly suggest you guys to go and check it out because i'm sure you will love it as well as i did and last of the rap club family from the edo toilet i have to talk about is jazz club now the jazz club is a memory of the evening in a private jazz club in brooklyn 2013 a cozy intimidate jazz club in the middle of new york city so basically this scent is a tobacco that fills the room with wild the sound of saxophone creates a perfect atmosphere a private moment to relax and unwind the warmth of the rich whiskey the cool contrast of ice and on the rocks so this one is the Fuji Edel Toilette and again one of the best of the best one of the best sellers of the replica families and the top nose has pink pepper spicy fiery and fresh pink pepper so great and fragrance and one note which makes this jazz club so unique and stands out is the rum absolute rum absolute is smooth sweet and intense not real rum is just the essential oil basically of the rum and another perfect um, note is the tobacco leaf absolute tobacco leaf absolute is very addictive rich and warm tobacco leaf and rum makes the scent very unique and you guys i have it just in here as well together with the fireplace these ones are one of my favorite fragrances. Now the Jazz Club is very masculine, very rich, very warm. It's loved by the gents out there. Who, every guy I talk to, every guy I know, they know that that uh, they love the Jazz Club and the Fireplace. And these fragrances are one of the best sellers of the whole range. And the Jazz Club literally is so unique. Again, a unisex fragrance on both of these. And I would definitely suggest you guys to go and check out this fragrance because I'm sure you will be not disappointed and you will just love it. It's very unique. This rum, this pink pepper, it has nice, this nice contrast of this warm, this cool and this kind of this comforting scent. Guys, let's talk about the Replica Ada Parfum fragrances. And these are the ones that come in a black bottle and it is introduced by creative director John Galliano himself. And this is the first collection basically that John Galliano created as a note. And these are very unique, completely different from the Ada Toilette range. And it's a vi uh, vision of fantasy unveiling personal uh, emotions and dreams. Each fragrance is crafted using magical and fantasy notes to create a unique olfactory journey. Now, um, it has five fragrances within the Ada Parfum range and the one 
I'm gonna start, which is my favorite, is the Wicked Love. It's a fantasy of thrill of the dangerous passion of Wicked Love, fall under the under an intoxicating spell of Wicked Love, and the powerful spell hooks your heart with the magic of bouquet of Egyptian jasmine and Santophilia rose. So this one is a floriental Eda Parfum fragrance. The notes of this fragrance are water hyacinth, I hope I pronounced correctly. It's this metallic aquatic lush scent. Santafolia rose, love this rose, known for the sweet fruity and floral scent. And Egyptian jasmine is opulent, fresh and intense. So more like a floral explosion basically. And this fragrance is very passionate, very like this dangerous florals. It's very compulsive, very mysterious scent. Very attractive, opulent and very sexy notes and very sexy fragrance. I really like Wicked Love. Such a unique and unisex fragrance. The next one I have is the Soul of the Forest. The Soul of the Forest is a fantasy of magical walk into the soul of the forest. Lure your imagination into the depths of a lush forest where the ancient trees stretch across the sky creating a sheltered and leafy Eden. So this freshness, this earthy air filled with your lungs of hints of sap and smoky intense whisper to the forest air. So basically this one is the more a green woody Eau Parfum fragrance. It has Moss Accord. Moss Accord is very fresh, very dewy and earthy. It has sap. Sap is this moist note and it's very green, very natural. So the Moss Accord and the sap go perfectly together, makes it very earthy. However, with the fur balsam, which is another note, gives this more like this creamy, more this pine fresh, evergreen and woody note. So it makes it more comforting, it's more like this undertone of woodiness. You can smell it afterwards. It's very green, this has like this unexpected change of note, very woody, fresh vibrant earthy and natural if you like this heavy greenery note then soul of the forest is the one but you don't want it very green and you like this very this balsamy creamy undertone of woodiness soul of the forest definitely is the one to look out for at the shops another one of my favorites is the dancing on the moon and it's the fantasy of just dancing on the moon it's the embark on a journey of your imagination the distant moon and you feel the weightless of your body as you dance across the surface under the mysterious black sky it is a floral Eau Parfum fragrance it has moonflower as the note it's very radiant luminous and magical and it has sunbag jasmine sunbag jasmine so amazing as in a fragrance very lush floral and fresh and it has cashmerian accord cashmerian accord known for this comforting the silky smoothness it's very sensual and it's very enveloping this fragrance is very unique nothing like that you have ever smelled before it's very radiant it also has this musky undertone as well and it's very powdery what i really like about this fragrance very magical and it's also very feminine very sensual and enveloping definitely one for the females who really like it when dancing on the moon i like it as well i've been wearing it as well and the cashmere and the sunbag jasmine such an amazing combination together to make this fragrance very long lasting and very like this unique scent but the jasmine is definitely one the note that stands out from this bottle flying now the flying is the fantasy of flying through a magical endless sky and it's a daydream high into the bright sky above and you feel yourself detached from the ground below as you begin to rise up into the air embrace the air you will drift out to the endless sky becoming one of the soft currents of the wind this one is a citrus aromatic aided perfume fragrance it's very cool very refreshing as the top notes has aerial accord so it's very light very airy very this breeze of fresh air it has bergamot known for this citrus fresh and uplifting scent one of my favorite things also has this, this almond flower almond flower is this floral creamy with honey notes in it the almond flower and the bergamot makes this fragrance very different, gives this nice cool contrast of the citrus and this woody floral creamy scent. It gives this fragrance a nice breeze of fresh air, it's very energizing, very clean, very capsulating, fresh and citrusy. 
completely different than the soul of the forest, don't get me wrong. Some people combine the soul of the forest and the flying together, but they're completely different. Flying is more this fresh, uh, uh, this fresh citrusy basically. And um, soul of the forest is more this green, woody note. So completely different of the uh, others, but flying, one of the scents which are very unique again and very magical, I would say. It's magical flying throughout the skies. And last but not least, Across Sands. Across Sands is one of my favorites as well. Across Sands is one of the most intense of the whole replica either perfume range, and it's a fantasy of a walk across the sands in the mysterious Orient. So it transports yourself into the vast golden landscape where the sun basically gently warms onto your skin and you see the desert as the cool air cools and the sun begins to set. And you see the flow through the eternal restless air. So basically this one is a woody in a perfume fragrance, very woody. It has cinnamon as the note, which is spicy, hot and fiery. And um, natural oud. Natural oud is very luxurious, very rich and intense and it has incense. Incense is very smoky, warm and long lasting. You know, you can imagine having incense, oud and cinnamon, how spicy this scent would be. It is a very spicy scent. It is very oriental, very like this moroccan type of a vibe. Um, it's very smoky, intense and woody and it's very warm and oriental and mysterious. If you like this kind of oriental, mysterious, spicy scents, Across Scents is the one then to look out for because I really like it. It is very long lasting as well and it's also again one of the best sellers of the whole replica Eda Parfum ring. We've nearly come to the end of the video and the last fragrance I'm talking about is Mutiny. It's a new feminine fragrance by Maison Mangella and on the 26th of September 2018 um, John Galliano represented his first fragrance basically. He literally created it from the scratch with no help. Obviously, he, he got help, but basically, he started his own fragrance, which is the Mutiny fragrance, and he showed it as part of his fashion show in spring summer 2019. So, the whole Mutiny concept is a new statement in femininity, a declaration of self individuality, and is accepting her differences as she knows this makes her unique. She embraces this powerful force into her life to turn back onto the norm. So basically, the mutiny is a challenge. It's a challenge of conventions. Breaking the rules stand up for what you believe in. And you manifesto, you cause your mutiny. And um, this is a self-reflection bottle. It literally shows by itself of the bottle how we create it. And this fragrance, such a unique fragrance. It literally speaks for itself as well. They say it's a feminine fragrance, but I think it's a unisex fragrance. I really like this fragrance, even I wear this fragrance. This fragrance is so different, so unique, so different than all the other fragrances that you have smelled before. I would highly suggest you guys to go and check one of this out, because you will be not disappointed. The Mutiny fragrance is a magnetic, erotic and narcotic fragrance. It's a white floral leather Eau Parfum fragrance. The top note starts with mandarin oil, pink pepper and saffron. Saffron, such an expensive ingredient as the northern fragrance and the pink pepper and mandarin, such an amazing concept. You guys can imagine how the top note already smells. In the hard note you have the tuberose. The tuberose is the most intoxicating flower, masculine and feminine, soft and strong, a tuberose deconstructed and reconstructed basically and it also has orange flower absolute sunbag jasmine absolute and obviously the tuberose and the boys notes are leather accord which is exclusive to mutiny leather accord none of the other fragrances of replica has leather except the mutiny there's bon bon vanilla and oud now by seeing the notes of the fragrance i can see this fragrance is so unique. I really like it. It is a very long lasting fragrance. It's very like this woody leather floral scent. It's very opulent, very this um, different, powerful, and very like personal fragrance. And it, this really makes a personal statement as the note. 
What I mostly love about Michini is the concept behind this fragrance. It's very like the self-expression, the basically giving me the power to express yourself, giving you the voice that you, you will need and basically making you more confident within a fragrance bottle. And this is the whole idea of the Michini and hence why I really like it. And I think this one is also, as I said, a unisex fragrance so everybody can wear them. Oh my God, I think I've been talking for so long and I hope you guys are here with me. Yeah, I hope you guys have stayed with me till all the way this long and I hope you guys found it all helpful and interesting. And I hope I helped you guys to find your perfect Maison Majala fragrance. If it's from a title, if it's the replica range or if it's the mutiny, I hope you guys found the fragrance that you were looking for. I hope you guys found this video very interesting. Now, I really, really enjoyed making this video. I really like the Maison Majala fragrances, hence why I can speak for hours and hours. I can see I've been talking for quite a while now. And also Maison Majala fragrances are not available in all the stores, so hence why I said check out the selected huge retailers across the world. I'm sure you will find it and you will fall in love. And also you should find it in the airports as well. So this is another top tip for fragrances because you will find it cheaper as well and you will find it in there and you'll find the whole range basically. So I hope you guys all like this video. If you didn't, please give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe. That means a lot to me and I have nothing else to say. Thanks so much for watching and that's it for me. Until next time, I will see you in the next one.